A good Wednesday evening to everyone, and it's still mild out there, even as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures still in the 70s, still well above average for this time of year. 70s across the board, 77 still in Hinton, 74 in Oak Hill, 60s down in the coal fields, out towards Charleston. Still at 78 degrees out there, so still very warm across the area. Still very dry. We're going to stay dry as we head over the next couple of days. Dry over the entire viewing area and over much of the eastern portion of the country. That's the same besides some of the showers down towards Florida. And the system out to the west that actually is bringing snow to Minneapolis. Not to us. We're not seeing any snow, but in the upper Midwest they are. But we are seeing some rain as we head towards the weekend. Now, as we go into Friday, this is late in the day Friday. This is the European model, which is one of our better models. And it shows that late Friday we're still dry. So we're not really wet until we get to the weekend. And then you can see as we go into the weekend, cold front makes its way towards us early Saturday. We begin to see some showers. So starting off the weekend, on a wet note. Then the cold front pushes through. We clear out Sunday. Sunday not all that bad. The worst day is Saturday. That's when we see some of the rain. But Sunday just going to be probably mostly cloudy. We'll still be warm, seasonably warm. We won't be cold. It's just the gloom, gloominess of the weekend that's really going to put a damper on any activities you may have going on this weekend. Rain continues as we head into our Monday, the chance, the unsettled weather. We're still mostly dry in southern West Virginia, but once we hit Tuesday, that low drops further down. Cold front moves towards our area, and that continues as we head into Wednesday. That's when we'll see most of the rain Tuesday into Wednesday. And then we dry out as we head later into Wednesday into the latter portion of the week. But until we get there, we still have the warm temperatures and will be pretty seasonable even when we do cool down. Highs tomorrow in the 70s, still close to 80 for some spots. Even as we head into Friday, still running above average. So enjoy the warmth because you know it won't last with the, with the wild temperature swings we tend to have this time of year. Highs on Saturday, not getting out of the 60s with all that cloud cover. And then we warm up a bit as we head into the beginning of next week. And that's before we start to see that cool air start to return as we head into the latter portion of next week. So going towards that Halloween time frame, yeah, if you're taking the kids out for trick or treating, it probably will be cold. Below average temperatures going to be an issue as we head into the latter portion of the next two weeks. Now again, we do have those leaves beginning to fall it's beginning to dry out so we do have fall fire season with us so there is that burnt that burn ban out there so fires must be attended to clear 10 feet around the areas of the fires or else you might end up with a hefty fine as we head throughout the season seven days you can see temperatures still warm the weekend going to be unsettled but as we head into the beginning of next week we start to see that unsettled weather continue until we cool down going into the middle of next week